Hey guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanna show you my styling routine for definition. Super defined, juicy, shiny curls. That's what we're going for. So if you know my channel, you know this is the look that I love for my curls. I'm always aiming for like super defined curls. It does mean that you don't get like a lot of volume. Like it does kind of like weigh your curls down a little bit, but that's just the look that I like. Sometimes I'll do a volumizing routine. Sometimes I'll do defined, it's usually defined. And yeah, I do like a lot of curly hair routines but I don't often spend a lot of time on my styling technique so I decided to dedicate a whole video to styling today so I've washed my hair I went into my makeup so I actually need to wet my hair again which is actually perfect because that's gonna be step one of the routine so we're gonna do a cold rinse and the reason why I do this is because that cold water helps to seal the cuticles on your hair it helps to close them down which is gonna lead to shinier and smoother hair. So I'm just gonna duck my head over here, turn the water all the way down to cold. Okay. So then what I do is I squeeze out any excess water because I don't want there to just be like so much water to the point where my styling products are just gonna fall out with the water, you know what I mean? So my hair has been squeezed out of water. So for step two, I'm just gonna brush my hair with a tangle teaser. So my hair has already been detangled in the shower with conditioner on it. And just the process of, you know, transitioning from here to here, my hair may have gained some tangles or it may have been shuffled about, or maybe if you've flipped your head over at some point, you just need to get it back to being down. And this is how I like to style. So I like to style with my hair down. I know some people like to style upside down, but that's never been my thing really. I don't know if I've ever done it like that. So I always do it down. Make sure I've got a center part as well. I have to be really careful because my ear piercing, this one, you know, I've had this pierced for like a year now. I think it's fully healed, but it still hurts. Like if there's even like one singular strand of hair kind of like wrapped around it and then I just brush it really hurts. I'm just brushing my hair from the bottom up and it's really easy because it's detangled. Same on this side. Then, guess what? This is probably the only time in all of my hair care where I actually separate my hair. Like I section it. Like I know like when I'm doing my hair masks and stuff, like I know I'm supposed to, but I never do. So I actually am gonna section my hair because now I'm actually gonna start applying product. It makes such a huge difference to the final result to make sure that the product touches every strand of hair, to make sure it's evenly distributed. So I'm actually sectioning. So this is how I do it. I actually go from about here. Anyway. My first section is just this tiny slither really at the nape of my neck. So again, I'm just gonna brush that with the tangle teaser and then I take a curl cream. So probably for like a good couple of years, my routine has stayed pretty consistent. So I usually use a cream and a gel. My creams are usually somewhere between slightly thick and a little bit runny. I never really use anything that's like super light and runny and liquidy, never too thick and heavy either. They're basically curl creams slash leave-in conditioner. I think of them kind of the same thing. So I wanna show you two of my faves. This is the Rhyme and Reason Quench and Curl Leave-in Conditioner. So this is probably like the third or fourth tub that I've gotten through. You know, this is so good and it's one of my faves. And this is what I used in like my most viral curly hair videos on Instagram. Like when everyone's like, wow, your hair looks so healthy. It's probably this or the pineapple curls curl cream, which I don't actually have right now. I just want to show you the consistency. So it's like, it's in a tub. So you can tell it's going to be a bit thicker and it's like this. So like, it's not super thick. It's actually, you know, like a little bit like whipped cream. Another one of my faves is the leave-in conditioner from Function of Beauty. So you can see this one is in a pump bottle, which is a sign that it's a lot more runny and you can see that it is. So when I squeeze this out, you can see that's gonna slide down my hand. I just find that they both work really well in my hair. So basically, I take one of my favorite leave-in conditioners or curl creams, I run it through my hair and I brush it through my hair with the Tangle Teaser to make sure that it's evenly distributed, it's touching every strand. And then I take my Denman brush 
and I do a little bit of curl training. Guys, I don't usually do it this intensely with tiny little strands like this, but I just want to show you this is how I would do it on a really intense day. So you go like this, shake it out, and there you go. Like it just helps it to become super defined. Do you see the, can you see the difference? This is how I get it to be really defined. And then shake it to wake it. You know what, maybe it doesn't look that different <laughs> from where you're sitting, but I promise it just helps to organize the curls a little bit. I put the brush on and I kind of twist the brush a little bit and I'm putting pressure on this side and bringing it down like this. And you can see just how defined this curl is gonna look. So with this bottom layer, I'm not really interested in having really defined curls right towards the nape of my neck, because these are like my longest layers. So I don't want too much shrinkage. And actually what I try to do is just leave this part pretty like undefined, like actually kind of stretched out so that I'm really only gonna get curls about here. That way my hair is gonna be like this long because I just want to keep my longest layers long. So then when I've then when brushed it, next step is to apply some gel to really hold that curl in. As you can tell, my favorite gel is the Defining Gel by Flora and Curl, and that's why I have the bigger tub. I love the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining Styling Gel. So this one's pretty much empty by now, so I need to restock that one. But yeah, there's a lot of different gels that will do a similar thing, but these that I found, not only do they smell amazing, both of them smell great but they also have never flaked on me like i know some gels can be a little bit like hit and miss love this they don't have too much hold it's flexible it's just great I take hardly any and i just run that in my hands and i put that all over this and i scrunch it tight gel and then i flip it to the back and i just kind of like shake my head like this a bit. If I just left it like this, it would literally dry like that. It would dry stretched out and I would have a line in the back and it would get tangled when I put it back. So I just want to make sure that it knows what's going on. You can give it a little bit of a shake there. And then it's out of the way because then I'm going to do the next section. Bring that to the front. And then I bring that to the front. So remember the steps. I'm going to brush with my tangle teaser. <laughs> So a little bit of curl cream. I just don't want it up toward the root because that really is gonna weigh down my hair a lot. And this is already quite a heavy routine. So I don't wanna make it any more heavy than it already is. And definitely make sure that that's on the ends. Down here. And then something I always have to remember is like where I pulled all my hair to the front, there is hair at the back where the mid length is actually like here. And I need to remember just to like kind of reach back and grab that and make sure that that's got product on it, like here. So again, just brushing that product through. Sometimes I look and I think, damn, I've got too much product. So I'm gonna squeeze a little bit off. I try to avoid doing that, obviously, because I don't like wasting products. So obviously I would try to avoid putting too much on in the first place. Okay, so then I'm gonna start with the demo and brush again. And remember this part is right at the back. So when I do this, I'm gonna try my hardest to kind of brush it towards the back. I don't wanna brush it towards me. It's kind of hard. Ugh. Sometimes the demo brush gets tangled because Demo brush is not a detangling brush. It's a styling brush and it has a bit of grip and it has a little bit of tack like on the rubber base. I'm also kind of brushing it up and out because if I were to kind of brush it down, then it would be so, so flat. And I just want to make sure that there's maybe a little bit of air, a little bit of volume. Then go in with a bit of gel. Again, don't forget that step. Because this is a bigger section, I'm just taking a bit more gel. Scrunch that into the hair. Then, because I'm done with this section, it goes to the back. Don't shake it too hard. Like, don't be going crazy, because we just spent a long time like defining the curls, but just gently kind of tussle it. So, who remembers the steps? There goes curl cream. 
and brush that through with the tangle teaser and with this because now we're right at the top i do just want to make sure that we have curls right at the top demo brush is so harsh on your hair this is a great routine to do every once in a while if you do really want some like extra definition but honestly i have to give my hair a break from this kind of routine because i just think it's not the healthiest purely because of the demo brush give that all a really good scrunch right up to the roots Cause this is kind of the opposite now like when i did the bottom layers i didn't want curls right at the top because i just wanted to keep that length with this top layer i do want curls right at the top so like maybe you can see like there's a piece here and where it's coming into this spiral it's being kind of stretched all the way from here until the spiral kind of starts about here so i'm actually going to separate that from that main spiral and i'm going to do this piece by itself or just twist it and I only do this with the pieces right at the top of my head. Same with these pieces right at the front. That much gel for each side. So that is my styling routine complete. It's really not like sopping wet anymore, but I am just gonna squeeze it with a towel anyway, just to get anything extra out. I think the quicker that your hair dries, the better, because the longer that it's drying is like more chance for it to get frizzy. Squeezing it as hard as I can. What I like to do next is kind of like a plopping technique. I never see anyone else doing this and I don't know if it's just me. So basically I'm gonna bring this towel under my, and I'm gonna tie it. So I'm just going to clip that part of the towel and then you have the rest of the towel and I'm just going to plop my hair into it like that and I'm going to bring that up. Another hair clip, look at that. This is like my little plopping method. Let me know if you see other people doing this or if you've ever done this because like, yeah, I don't see people doing it like this and I just feel like this is just a really nice way to plop. It does not disturb your curls very much at all and it just helps to hold that scrunch for a little bit longer so you end up with like really defined and springy curls. I'm really just going to do that for like, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, however much time I've got in a day and then I do have a really busy day so I need to get out so I'm going to use the hair dryer. This is a really great hair dryer for this because it has a bunch of different control settings. So this controls the power and this is the heat. So I usually go lowest power because I don't want to just blow out the curls, especially when we're aiming for definition. And I go lowest heat as well, purely just to protect my curls. At this point, I'm gonna like separate some of the curls. When your hair is so defined like this and the curl clumps are so strong, they can get really stuck together and it can lead to a lot of tangles. So I do just try to separate them as much as I can which does help to add some volume see big tunnels like this just go ahead and unravel those so I really hope you liked my definition technique and I hope that you can see the defined curls kind of like all through my hair <laughs> often I'll do a half up half down so it's really important for me to make sure that I get that definition all in here as well i've linked everything in the description box down below i really hope that you liked this video i really hope that it was helpful please thumbs up also subscribe if you want to see more from me let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to make sure you don't miss it if i post one of your suggestions also get me on instagram and tiktok because i'm there all the time i really hope that you have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video bye